Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your iPhone Captain. Today I'm going to be showing you some of the features of Animation Desk. And I'm going to show it to you first off here. Uh, I want to thank the guys from Kdan Mobile Soft for sponsoring the video. And I want to try to show you some of the features about it. Here's what it looks like on the screen, Animation Desk. Right here you got the little icon. And if you go to your App Store and you type animation desk okay it'll open up right here you see you've got, I've already got it installed but it offers several things and if you've used it on the iPad or the iPhone then you're going to be right at home because pretty much the same exact thing and any files that you have created on the iOS devices you can import those straight into the uh, Mac application and as you can see it sells for $6.99 uh, some of the features it offers first of all you see on the screen you can change the color of the screen and all that we'll get into that but first you got your project here we're going to create new but we're not going to do that I'm going to show you some of the things I've already created so you can crack up when you see my drawings and if I were to hit play right now it would play through the nine different frames that I have right here selected and uh, let's go ahead first of all and let's click open and I've got animation te animation test and that would be what's on the screen up here at the top if we were going to edit something we could add a frame duplicate a frame delete a frame or start dictation maybe we want to speak while the application is actually playing if we wanted to open our projects that we had saved or play one of them we could simply do that from right in here too all we would have to do is open it and click play and you see it would start going through to let us know what frames were inside that and then we could drag them around if we wanted to realign them differently uh, we could put a description for it here and I'll just type test and then put finish in there and then any notes you add you see right here this way you might can write things in there you need to put to jog your memory alright moving on if we wanted to edit this like I said you can add frames add a new frame right here and if I did hello and please understand I'm using the track my trackpad on my MacBook Pro so now we've got hello and now we got 10 frames and you see this little navigation bar down here on the left side I can move that hello to whichever position I want on the screen and I can blow it up like that if I want to make it larger on the screen I simply increase the size and it makes it larger on the screen this little dial here if I flip it it'll go to the next frame 8, 9, 10 you can see you can go back as well flip through any of them if you want to add a background you can do that from in here too um, if I wanted to go in and hit hit add a frame uh, some of this stuff seems like it's not cooperating exactly correct, but that's something I'm sure I'm doing. You see, I've got an eraser here, too. And there's a lot of things you can do with this, guys. You can export it into Facebook, YouTube, and if you have any kind of trouble, you can go to the help section here and get all kinds of help. You, got, you can show your project manager, that's what we had open earlier, and you can show frame manager. That's the little straight, it's not wanting to open it for some reason. So first off, let's close it down, and let me install this update. And then we're going to reopen animation desk and see if this does anything for us. 
Yeah, now it's playing correctly. You can see now my animation is flashing across the screen. Each frame is coming up to whatever time frame I have selected up here. If I want to stop that, all I have to do is simply turn this up, click it again, and it goes much faster. If I want to add a frame, delete a frame, duplicate a frame, or close the application completely, I do that from here. Over here is where I can increase and decrease the brush stroke from right here. I've got the eraser turned on right now. Let's turn red on. Okay, red. Turn the eraser off. Turn my pencils on. Okay, now I've got my red. And there's a lot you can do with this, guys, if you know what you're doing. And let me show you what I mean by that. If I go to Anazone, this is a place for animation desk users. And inside here, you can upload your creations to Anazone, where ideas come to life, it says in here. There's been 347 animation videos uploaded. And I was just going to play a couple of them for you to give you an idea. I like this one here about this looks like a wolf. So if we play this. See, you can do a lot of creative things with it. And the next one here, Wolf Animation Test. See, you can create different faces, and as it goes through, it looks like it's animated. It's a pretty cool app, guys. If you want to check it out, it's in the App Store for $6.99. I'll have the link in the description. Don't forget to like the video, come over to iPhoneCaptain.com, and please keep coming back.